Hey guys, welcome to episode number 14 of my horror game tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make this um, UI. And this UI is the um, lock of the safe we are going to make in the next few episodes. And um, yeah, so I will see you in just a second. Hey guys, so now we are inside the Unity editor. Um, yeah, so let's start to make the UI. First of all, I'm going to change the layout of the Unity editor because I prefer this one to work at the UI. I already showed you how to make the setup, so uh, I won't go over it in detail. And now I'm going to turn off the light in the scene view by clicking this button up here. Okay, so now I'm going to switch into 2D mode because we're working on the UI. Then we're going to zoom out all the way so that I can see the canvas. So as you can see we already set up the canvas player hat. And this canvas has all the different settings we want. So instead of making a new canvas and then putting all this information in there again, we're just going to duplicate this canvas. So highlight this canvas by clicking on it and then press Ctrl D. And your canvas will be duplicated and you get a new game object which uh, which is called canvas player hat and then the brackets one. We're going to rename this into canvas safe because this is going to be the canvas which holds all the safe UI elements. And then we're going to open it up and select the interaction icon. We are not going to need this. so deleted. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a panel. Um, let me show you. So right click, go to UI and then go to panel. And now you can see we have this white overlay. And um, we're going to use this as some kind of background for our uh, safe UI. So when you go up here, you can see there's this little blue dot, um, which is on every of the corners. You can drag to make the smaller, to make the panel smaller. And then you can drag the center part right here. Wait, wait, no. Uh, you can drag the panel. Just click on the panel and then you can start to drag it around. So let's find somewhere which looks nice. Also, I want to change the alignment from stretch. So uh, right here you can uh, set the anchors and uh, use some prefabs. So I'll click on this and then press Control. No, sorry. Um, Alt and shift and then click on the middle one. So now the panel is perfectly centered. And you can also see that those little, I don't know how to call them, those triangles, those uh, slice of pizza, I don't know. Um, they're not centered as well. Those triangles are called the anchors and which will, uh, and they will determine how the UI is going to scale um, with the screen. So uh, I want the anchors to be in the middle of the screen. So this will always be like right in the center. And then we can start to play around with width and height. I'm just going to put in some even numbers because I like that. So it's 1,500 by let's say 625. Of course you can play around with these numbers. So. The next thing we uh, we are going to do is we right click on the panel and create a new UI. And this time we're going to create a text. Um, the reason why we right click on the panel is because now the text is a child of the panel and will always scale in the right ratio to the panel. So that means if the canvas safe 
is going to uh, is going to be scaled. Then the panel will be scaled down, and the text will um, also uh, will also uh, scale down, and that keeps everything uh, looking the same, which is good. So um, now we have the text. Uh, we're going to put in some kind of dummy text. So I'm just going to put in, let's say zero. Um, that's not a zero. This is a zero. Um, then I'm going to change some things right here. So uh, the font style is, uh, is right. Font size and line spacing. We are going to use another setting to modify them. Then alignment. I want this to be in the center and in the center. Um, color is going to be black. And now we click on this best fit button and you can see that the UI got a little bit bigger. But now if I'm going to scale this uh, text up, you can see that the text will also scale up, but only till a certain point. To change that, we're going to change the maximum size to something like 215. And now we can start to scale again. So let's make this 200 by 200. And then drag it over here. So this is going to be the first number of our save. Um, yeah, so we're going to call this. This is going to be the number one. Then we're going to duplicate this text and we're going to call it number two. And then just drag it over till around here. Then uh, duplicate it again. Number three, drag it over. Make it look, I uh, make it look spaced evenly. I mean, you could also um, try to do some math and then calculate um, how uh, what width your panel has, and then divide it by four to get basically like a fourth. So that you can put each number in one of the fourth, and uh, then everything will be uh, right. But uh, this is a tutorial, and I'm just going to show you how it's done. So it's nothing too special. And again, duplicate uh, duplicate number three and call it number four, and then drag it over here. Yeah. The that seems about right. Okay. So we have all the numbers in place. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the buttons to increase and decrease the number. So right click and then create a new UI element. Go to button. And now we have this little button right here. Um, Drag it over here. Then scale it up a little bit so that it aligns with the number. So now we have the button. Um, in the button you can find another text component. And we're going to change this to say increase. Um, don't do this. Um, and then, so this is already set at the center. Click on best fit and uh, this works perfectly. So this button is going to be the button increase. And then we're going to duplicate this button. 
and drag it down. And of course this is going to be the button decrease and the text will also say decrease. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take this and duplicate the button and just drag it over. And then uh, go to the button decrease and also start to duplicate it. Right. Okay. So um, now, uh, if I go into the play mode, you can see that the canvas is always in our face right now. Of course we're going to change that in the next video, but that's about it. So um, yeah, if you have any further questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. I will of course answer it as soon as I can. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe my video, uh, like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. So until next time, bye guys.